Mr. Xavier, uh, please describe the characteristics of uh, BOC Ballast Water Treatment System. Our system, the BOC system, is based on two steps. The first one is the filtration. Today we offer two kinds of filter, one compact and one standard. Uh, it's based on a 40 micron screen filter, and uh, which eliminates all the sediments okay, in the water. And second part, second step, is UV treatment, mm -hmm. uh, which eradicates the microorganism. In the, the system of the UV is to destruct, to eliminate uh, microorganisms and destruct the DNA of such microorganisms. Uh, how the BOC differentiate from competition? First of all, we are a water treatment company for more than 12 years. And then we know how to do the job, how to treat correctly freshwater and also seawater. Uh, the second step is that as we are manufacturing, we design, uh, we optimize system, and then we control all the manufacturing chain and all the supply chain. More, uh, we have a global network uh, with, for example, in Greece, Siagon Company, which help us to sell, of course, and provide the service to the customers. Does uh, BOC form a global solution for all type of vessels and all capacity volumes? Today, we are focusing uh, capacity pump, ballast pump capacity from 75 cubic meter per hour up to 2,000 cubic meter per hour. Uh, this kind of uh, vessel uh, are um, rural vessel, uh, container vessel, uh, bulk carrier, uh, supply, offshore supply. Uh, please describe the installation of BOC. It is a uh, symbol. Uh, what is the time frame for a typical installation dry, uh, during dry dock? For example, uh, the main advantage is uh, the main advantage we have is the fact that our system is totally modular, and then you can split the system and find a viable space in existing vessel, which is one of the most tricky parts of the uh, of the project. Uh, then. For example, in the dry dock, to give you a, a rough, a rough uh, idea, uh, for BioC 1000, uh, it's about five days. You can do it also at key or during a voyage, no problem. Uh, please um, describe the maintenance requirements for the system and give a rough estimation of the related cost. The related cost, uh, I don't want to speak on this part. I, prefer, I do prefer to work uh, on the global solution. Um, our system is competitive and cost efficient. Uh, today, uh, if we talk about maintenance, our system is very easy to maintain. Uh, no big issue each year, uh, no big survey. Uh, just maybe uh, we advise to, to clean the quartz one a year. Uh, and to uh, change the lamp if you want. If not, there is a system uh, uh, on the system uh, which detects a problem on the lamp and then you can change when there is a failure. Well, we are totally, uh, we are able to supply Indeed. also shipyards because shipyards may, they have their own, they, they preferred vendors, okay, we can and we will be uh, also in the vendor list, no problem. The, the topic of the, the new, new vessel is that the system itself could be mounted on a skid, no problem. Our system, on, with our system, we, we, are, we offer skid also, uh, and the skid are for new vessel because it's very easy, you have sp enough space, uh, and then you have just to plug and play. Uh, mm -hmm. the system. Uh, and then in this case, ship owners, uh, it's a good way for the ship owners to handle this problem and the regulation now for new vessel because the regulation arrives, uh, the US Coast Guard already took position uh, and then uh, ship owners uh, have to, to move uh, on this regulation and to start uh, installation, engineering and installation. Uh, I can advise them to do it because uh, in several months uh, or year, it will become a, a big bottleneck uh, and the price may increase also. Then it's not uh, for the advantage of the ship owners. Um, you believe that the maritime operation manager consider installing um, your equipment or should they had it uh, installed already? Today, <clears throat> it's very good for ship owners to study, uh, to pre-engineering, to study and to implement and install the system 
on board of the ship. Mm -hmm. uh, if they have already uh, dry docks in a few weeks and months, I, I advise them to, to, to work on it because today maybe they will have better price than tomorrow. Uh, now they have time to study systems, they have mm -hmm. time to test systems, they have time to train the crew uh, and then mm -hmm. it's uh, uh, all the benefits for uh, customers uh, and ship owners of course to do it uh, as soon as possible. Uh, there has been an extension of the mandatory installation of the ballast water treatment system on ships, but sooner or later it will be required uh, to be installed. Do you believe it will be possible for the industry and uh, specifically for BOC to respond uh, uh, sufficiently to this intense and uh, highly demanding, demanding uh, requirement? Today it's, uh, it's an important issue, right? Uh, there is no specific extension today because the regulation will come uh, and it will come, it seems that it will come this year. Uh, as I told you, uh, US Coast Guard has already took position and then for new vessel to work in US, to operate in US, uh, they need a system uh, end of 2013, then it's tomorrow. Uh, and for uh, existing vessel, it will start, depending on the ballast capacity, uh, it will start on 2014, January, then it's also mm -hmm. tomorrow. Uh, concerning the, the capacity of the supply, um, today there is uh, about 20, 30 uh, makers already type approved in the world, okay? Uh, we believe that 15 are serious. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's very important to, to say that because uh, it's also a question of trust for the ship owners uh, to have a system uh, which, which function well in, in all kind of condition. Um, and then with the 15, the serious 15 companies, uh, we believe and I believe that uh, we are able to supply uh, the global demand uh, of this kind of systems. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, the Greek market is very important for the for BioC. Uh, that's the reason why uh, we cooperate uh, with the company Sierragon Company uh, to represent uh, our uh, solution mm -hmm. in the Greek market. Uh, with uh, Mr. Magulas, uh, we develop a strong partnership and we, dis we develop a strong relationship with customers, with ship owners, engineering company to uh, better understand what is the ballast water treatment system, okay, what is our brand, what is our solution, the capacity of our solution, and the trust that ship owners can have in BioC. Mm -hmm. um, of course, the Greek market is a huge one. Uh, we believe that to have a local partners, to have a local presence, it's very important for ship owners, local ship owners, Greek ship owners, because uh, they can just take the phone or just drop an email to the Siergon company and say and they will, they will have advice, they will have an answer, they will have a supply uh, behind that uh, and somebody who is near them, uh, we can, they can discuss easily in Greek of course, uh, they can uh, also uh, provide all the support ship owners need for such kind of projects. BOC is a French company. Can a European uh, manufacturer to be competitive to those Asian? Okay, uh, first of all, we are the only one French company which is doing ballast water treatment. Then nobody else in France. Uh, concerning the capacity to, to compete with the other, of course we are with European quality. Then theoretically is European price, okay, which could be higher than Asiatic one, Asian one. Uh, in this case, as we are designer, as we are manufacturing, we are able to compete with the integrator. Uh, then we are able then to compete with Asiatic players. Um, of course, with a higher quality, okay, but also it's a question concerning the, the type of proof certification. Mm -hmm. because. We are under BV, Bureau Veritas uh, Certificate, and you know that all the IAX uh, members has a very high level of quality, okay, and, um, and test uh, management. Then we can supply to our partners the trust, the confidence that BioC has followed 
a very strict uh, cycle of test. And for proof, we have made the double of test as required by the IMO. IMO requires only three tests, three valid uh, tests on board of ship. We decide to, to do six tests, the double of the IMO requirements. Why? To be sure uh, that the system will function, will perform in different kind of sea. We have tests in North America, North Europe, okay? And we have also tests in uh, India, Pakistan, Asia, with the water is very brackish and the system performs very well. Also in US, we have made tests in, uh, uh, in US, in the Merck facility, and our system performs better than the other UV competitors. Mm -hmm. no, no, there is a point uh, that the ship owners have to, to, to check because uh, even Chinese or uh, other Asiatic people has type approval. Uh, they need to ask the test result uh, to be sure that it was made in the very uh, difficult condition to assure them that the system will perform all over the world. Because maybe the X thousand euro they, they will save, mm -hmm. they will lose them with the port authority uh, if they have a problem uh, in the port of the world. Uh, and then stop the vessel uh, and it cost more, uh, much more than uh, several thousand euro. <laughs> the fact is that we have to be balanced on such approach. Uh, on our side, we believe on the green technology, we believe on the green aspect uh, and the green future of the world. Uh, that's the reason why we never use chemical product in the complement of our treatment, UV treatment. Uh, second, we are all the time, uh, we try to be all the time uh, between the position of the user and customer and manufacturer engineering to have a, a balanced approach of the green technology. Uh, we want to be a green company, okay? We want to, to provide green solution to the, to the, to the world, uh, trying to be balanced on the, the good and bad points of a green approach.